So despite tonight's rain, Southeast Texas remains dangerously dry. As you can see here, we're under what's called a severe drought, basically eight inches or so below normal for the months of June and July. So throw in those triple digit temperatures and it really makes for the perfect recipe for grass fires. Yeah, firefighters tell us they're struggling to keep up. 12 News reporter Ebony Coleman joins us in studio tonight in Ebony. All of Southeast Texas actually remains under a burn ban this evening. Hey guys, Hardin County's burn ban took effect this past Thursday afternoon and Orange County took effect the next day, but still some residents are choosing to ignore the dangers. We've had uh, an increase of calls for people burning after the burn ban in, which is a, uh, it's a class C misdemeanor. No matter where you live in Southeast Texas, right now it's illegal to do any outdoor burning. Friday's the burn ban went into effect. Saturday, lots of people are off enjoying their time outside. I'm not sure if they were just were not aware of the burn ban, but uh, small fires did get out of control. Chief Robert Smith with Orange County Emergency Services District 1 says this past weekend alone they answered 10 calls for grass fires. The largest one could have affected 35 acres. Luckily it was uh, a five acre about a five acre plot that was affected. Jimmy Blanchard, fire marshal with Hardin County Emergency Services District 2, says they've been busy too. Roughly eight fires in the last two weeks uh, as far as wildfires or brush fires. Both Blanchard and Smith say grass fires can start from people burning trash, runaway embers, and even lightning strikes. And sometimes those fires can threaten neighborhoods. We don't want to go see people's houses on fire. We don't want to go see their, their yards on fire, meet people on their worst day. Firefighters say when the call comes, they're always ready to go. We have our uh, our truck here beside me that it holds a thousand gallons of water, has a pump on it. If we are way back in the woods, we use this bigger vehicle to get back in there. Fire Marshal, Marshal Blanchard says before writing citations, they will give warnings. They'll also provide education if you're caught burning without being aware of the bans. He also says those bans will remain in effect until further notice. In studio, Ebony Coleman, 12 News.